In this video, we're going to determine the end behavior of a function by looking at the equation. So this is a scenario where the degree, remember that the degree is the largest exponent. All right, so the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator is the same. So in the numerator, we have 12x squared, 4x, and 3. So 12x squared, all right, is the the gives us a degree of two. Um, also, you'll recall that we have studied that this would be the term that has the largest effect, all right, on the numerator. In the denominator, that term would be 3x squared. So um, we can see here that as x approaches infinity, this would be the same situation as x approaches negative infinity, f of x is approximately going to be, it's going to follow the same path as 12x squared over 3x squared. Okay, again, we have to say this caveat here that this is only a true situation as x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity. Um, if we were looking at things that are more zoomed in, if we were looking at intercepts and vertical asymptotes, we would not be able to just kind of knock out the rest of these terms. But when we zoom all the way out and when we look at numbers that are close to infinity, this function f of x and 12x squared over 3x squared, they kind of have the same behavior um, as x gets huge. We can simplify this. 12 divided by 3 is 4. x squared over x squared makes a giant 1. So this is going to be 4. Okay, and as you can see here, since there's no variable, it's going to be 4 whether x is positive infinity or negative infinity. So as x approaches positive infinity and negative infinity, f of x approaches 4. That means that the horizontal asymptote is y equals 4. Because as we know, um, f of x is only approximately this function. It's never actually going to reach that value of 4 because we are never actually going to reach infinity. Therefore, it's going to cause a horizontal asymptote.